when we killed. Yeah. Not as much as we thought. Ken, you're gonna have to repaint your paintings, buddy. I'm gonna have to reshoot my movie. Which one's easier? <laughs> painting. I'll help you paint the painting. <laughs> amazing. I mean, this is completely new to me, that in the two and a half hours it took Titanic to sink, she never capsized. We never really thought about that. It was staring us in the face. Ships capsized. We saw it recently with the coast of Concordia that sank off the coast of Italy. And when you look back at the history of all the other famous shipwrecks, they all roll over. Bismarck rolled over. Andrea Doria rolled over. But Titanic just went almost straight down. Yeah, toward the end it had maybe variously reported six, maybe eight degree list. That's not much. So that creates a whole new question. Were they trimming the ship? Were the engineers, none of whom survived, were they actually trimming the ship actively? Were they fighting that? Were they that good with their pumps by filling the trim tanks and seeing the ship was, was listing one direction, controlling it, and, and, and uh, trying to keep it upright so they could get those boats off? Or did they just get lucky? Was it the most amazing piece of luck in maritime history that they managed to successfully evacuate 700, 700 and some people in the boats while the ship just sat perfectly upright in the water? I've never thought of that before. Well, there's some questions we're just going to have to live with. But before I send these guys home, there's a game I like to play. What would you have done if you were captain of Titanic? Could more lives have been saved? Titanic set sail with more than 2,200 souls on board. But just over 700 would survive the disaster. Some went down with the ship. Most froze to death. 